The modern society is one of the most stable in history. Even though the gap between rich and poor, poor is ever increasing, we do not see widespread loot and plunder. To say that this is due to the morality, the fundamental morality of people may be slightly untrue because it is well known that the moral impulses of people are much weaker than the greed impulses of human beings. So, human being under the influence of greed finds it very difficult to hold on to morality. So, what is the reason for this stability? Let us try to understand this with the help of a model. On the horizontal axis, we have the incomes in increasing order from left to right. And on the vertical axis, we have number of people. Now every society will have some unemployed people who earn zero income, right? There will be some number of people who earn less income, slightly lesser number of people who earn greater income and so on. Right? An easier way to represent this is to join this, these midpoints with a line. Right? Or even better is to replace the entire graph with only the line. Now convince yourself that the line will be just like this. It will reach zero because the incomes cannot be infinite. Also, it will have lesser slope initially and the slope will increase later. Why so? Because initially with small increase in income, the number of people are not much are not reduced by a lot. But later with increase in income, the number of people drastically falls. So, here the largest number of people are accommodated and here very few people will be there. So, the gra graph will be like this instead of like this, right? So, now, now let us see what was the condition in ancient societies. In ancient societies, the means of production was physical labor which isn't much different from person to person. So, the entire population was concentrated in this narrow band with not much difference between incomes, right? What happened in the medieval period? In the medieval period, this poor class remained, but there was also a super rich class with wide ranging incomes from here to here with very few people. So at this end were probably feudal lords and at this end there were probably kings, right? Now in the medieval ages, the people could see this stark difference between their, between their incomes. So there was a clear discontent between the poor class. This also led to some violent moments like the French Revolution. What happened in modern times was that there was advent of the middle class. Middle class somewhere here with middle incomes and with middle number. Right? Now, the poor class felt or feels the middle class is reachable and the middle class feels that they can migrate to the rich class by, with some efforts. So the discontent in the poor class and the middle class is not there. It is replaced by the pursuit of the next class, right? Now this is a very simplistic uh, simplistic model. The truth is 
that there is not a single middle class it is actually many classes in between right so this these may be the the lowest uh, the cleaning staff and all and there there will be a there will be a a clerical staff and then there will be some supervisory staff and then there will be say some office staff and then there will be say programmers you know simple website developers and there there will be advanced programmers and then there will be you know managers and bankers etc lawyers and also also there will be some overlap between these somewhere and so on right so so this this is this is the actual structure of the society and and each class because of so many strata each class feels that the next class is reachable and each class is engaged in pursuit of the next class so this this brings stability to the modern society which was not there in the ancient societies the ancient societies had only the the working class the poor class and the super rich class and that created lot of discontent we will see how this has played out in the modern era in another video